First at five, while many students are leaving public schools at historic rates, Cabarrus County is actually seeing an increase in enrollment. Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. Good evening, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Alicia Barnes, a Queen City News reporter, Sydney Heiberger, live right now outside of J.M. Robinson High School in Concord this evening. So, Sydney, what's going on there? Yeah, Alicia, for the past two days, all teachers of Cabarrus County Schools have been meeting here to prepare for the upcoming school school year. And if there's one thing that we have learned from last school year, it's that public schools right now are not without some unique challenges. Cheers filled the hallways of J.M. Robinson High School as teachers prepared to head back to the classroom. But it doesn't mean the district is without its challenges. I think the bigger challenge is going to be, you know, it's a tough climate for teachers. Teacher shortages, overcrowding, ideological debates. Cabarrus County hasn't been immune from any of it. When you hear people talking about teachers this, teachers that, remember these teachers are humans, are people. Out of about 3,800 teaching positions, Cabarrus County still has about 80 to 100 openings. Not as bad as other districts, but still a pressure cooker when considering the district's student population will grow by at least 1,600 this year. We're actively recruiting teachers. We're actively out to the universities. Um, we're looking internationally for teachers. We're trying to hit every different vein we can hit to bring teachers into Cabarrus County. To deal with that, the district recently increased their supplement to 12%, on top of an average statewide teacher raise of 4.2%. They're also opening a brand new middle school, Roberta Road. We have the capacity to handle all the students that we have in our system right now. Um, we are looking at a long-term realignment down the road. Growing pains in a public school district, at an already tumultuous time for public schools. When you have 35,000 students, 44 schools, 4,000 employees, every day is a challenge. Yeah, Dr. Kopicki says just like every year, the main priority this year is still going to be safety. Thankfully, there weren't many, uh, any major incidents at Cabarrus County Schools last year, but as always, they say they're going to continue to have a robust camera system in every school as well as a school resource officer. I'm live in Concord, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.